Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Pastor Rodney coming to you again with more instruction from God's Holy Word and your today's drive-by. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Sunday morning. It's a beautiful day. Sun is shining. The weather up here in the northeast is kind of mild, but it's really bright and sunny today. And I give God praise and honor for this opportunity to reach out to you again just to remind you to remind you how important it is for you to fellowship with other believers in church. We live in a time where there are so many things to occupy our time and our schedules. There's so many things that we prioritize in life. But the Word of God says that if we seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, then everything we have need of will be added. So I want to encourage you today, don't put Christ on the back burner. Don't put them on the back burner. Don't put them as your secondary measure. Don't put them as your last resort, but make sure that he is first. You know, Sunday is a beautiful time for us to come together in worship, in fellowship, you know, in praise, in prayers, that we can greet one another with the love of Christ. It's important for the people of God to always stay together. And even as the end of time is approaching, it is important for us to do so more often. Why? Because there are so many things in this life that are designed to discourage. There's so many things in this life that are designed to frustrate or to irritate or to ag aggravate. And so it is important for us to spend time with other believers for when one of us is weak, the other is strong. When one, <clears throat> excuse me, when one may be frustrated, the other is excited, you know, and, and embracing life. And so when we come together, the scripture says, as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the continents of his friend. And so don't just go to church but make friends with your family. Make friends with your fellow believers, brothers and sisters in Christ, so that when you're going through, they can help pull you out. For the word of God says two are better than one. For if they fall into a ditch, they can help one another out. But it says woe unto the one who falls alone. So I want to encourage you today, just very simply to encourage you, don't forget to go to church. Make that a priority in your life because we make time for everything else. Know this, our times are in God's hands and shouldn't we give him honor, glory, and praise for all that he has done in our lives? Shouldn't we praise him for all the things that he has supplied for us, for he has supplied our every need? You know, so we should give God more time than we give anything else. And so I want to encourage you today, make sure you fellowship with other believers. God bless you. Have a blessed and marvelous day in the name of our Lord.